Very good morning. You're with the news on headlines today. I'm Preeti Chaudhary and our top focus story this afternoon. The Haryana police have charged the self-style godman Rampal with treason, sedition as they wait to evacuate people from his ashram in Hisar before the final push. Police say the godman is holed up inside the ashram and that police is allowing the nearly 5,000 supporters to leave the ashram. Several of those still inside are women and children. They're making their way out. Close to three and a half thousand people have been evacuated since morning. Police have confirmed that four bodies have been recovered from inside the ashram, but the cause of death has still not been ascertained. The state police once again appealing to Rampal to turn himself in. Listen in. We have two murders. These are the criminal conspiracy, ki, illegal detention, ki, rioting, ki, sarkari karya mein badha pahunchane ki, attempt to murder ki, aur rajya ke virudh लड़ाई करने की वही एक सौ इक्कीस all right, the latest that we're getting in at this point of time, I want to apprise our viewers, uh, the DGP uh, just uh, addressed a press conference. So the operative line from there has come out is the fact that uh, uh, the self-style godman is very much inside, inside the same ashram uh, right now, the Satlok ashram in Hisar. Contrary to even what his supporters believe, you just heard some of those reactions who say that uh, their uh, Guruji, what they call him, is not inside. So that's one. Uh, and the second that is coming out at this juncture is the fact that the police once again giving the opportunity uh, to supporters to come up. As we speak, uh, people still being evacuated in buses that have lined up outside the Satlok ashram. Uh, women and children, what we are getting to know at this point of time, are still inside the ashram. All right. Uh, my colleagues uh, Pankaj Upadhyay, Ankit Yagi, getting us the very latest from Ground Zero. I'd like to cut across to Ankit, uh, who just filed the ground, this ground report just a short while back. People are still coming out of uh, the Satlok Ashram right now. We are just uh, uh, outside the ashram and uh, just as we came here in the morning, there are uh, these 30 to 40 women and children, uh, those who have uh, come out. In fact, you can see old people, uh, those who ha have been inside. There have been reports that many of them were forcibly being kept uh, uh, inside. Uh, there are a lot of people again uh, and again repeating that uh, uh, they were not allowed to come inside. You can see that uh, the policemen here are uh, try helping them, getting them in these buses then uh, they will be taken also of course uh, their, uh, uh, their the stuff that they are carrying is being also uh, checked uh, let me quickly also uh, take you through uh, where we are uh, you can see on the ground how uh, the literature uh, from the ashram is littered around. Uh, uh, this has be, this has come out. These black dresses that you see were of the uh, commandos, those who were there. Uh, in fact, the police are completely in control, although uh, they have given time uh, for uh, uh, to surrender. There are people still holed up uh, inside the situation uh, and the, the, the amount uh, of the people that we saw, the numbers that we saw, not the same. Uh, that's the Satlok ashram that you can see behind me. This has been, of course, the focal point, uh, the, the area of um, action uh, here. Uh, uh, yesterday, the police, uh, uh, despite the operation, could not uh, move in. And since yesterday, about 10,000 people have, uh, in fact, uh, come out. Uh, what you can see behind me uh, is uh, uh, on the rooftop are still some hardened supporters uh, of, uh, uh, of, uh, uh, of, uh, of Rampal. According to the police sources, uh, there are uh, uh, him, he is still holed up uh, inside. But you can see the impact. Uh, the way this entire operation uh, of course was done they are, the police still saying that there are weapons uh, and that is why uh, it's difficult for them uh, to move uh, inside the operation is expected to uh, begin uh, in some time but uh, still uh, they are giving a deadline they are giving some time for those hold up inside uh, to surrender because they still believe many are being held up against their will with camera person shakil ahmed ankit tyagi in hisar for headlines today this man who is holed up inside is the cause of this entire trouble in Hisar. We are right outside uh, the uh, Satlok Ashram uh, in Hisar and uh, Rampal, uh, the self style godman, uh, is still holed up uh, inside. What you can see behind me are the first visuals of, uh, uh, of this morning, in fact. Uh, and uh, uh, you can see how the police uh, were able to clear the, uh, the, the foreground, the front of the ashram. Although there are uh, still thousands that are expected to be uh, inside and uh, the operation, of course,
course, uh, will have to be resumed. The officers saying that uh, it will happen throughout uh, the day and uh, night today. Uh, but you can also see that uh, there are still supporters of Rampal. These are now the hardened supporters, hardcore supporters, those who are not ready to give up. Uh, they are also armed. They have, st uh, they have uh, uh, you know, a supply of uh, bricks, a big of stones to be hurled at the police. Uh, and also, most of them saying they are not going to come out. The police, the only fear that the uh, police agency has is that uh, uh, there would be many of them who are armed and uh, that is why an operation has not been resumed. This gate that you see uh, right uh, behind uh, me, uh, that gate is the only exit and uh, many people have been holed up inside against their will. Reports also coming in of few casualties. In fact, two deaths have been confirmed, but uh, um, unconfirmed sources say there are about uh, five uh, bodies that have uh, been kept outside the ashram. But yesterday, this whole, uh, this whole area uh, was uh, littered with Rampal's supporters. It was covered with them, uh, people, the so-called uh, uh, black commandos of Rampal, those who were here. Uh, as of now, at this point of time, this all area has been cleaned. You can see the, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, the, the stone pelting that took place here yesterday. This whole thing is littered. And the, the advantage that Rampal supporters had that they were on the higher ground and that is how they were targeting the police. Uh, more than 105 policemen have been injured in this entire uh, operation. People still coming out. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, many of them uh, came out uh, in the morning also. All of them almost confirming that they were held up against their will. So the police is getting ready for the operation and uh, we are expecting uh, a, a final push to clear this ashram any time throughout the day uh, today. With camera person Shakil Ahmed, Ankit Tiagi in Hisar for headlines today. That final push is going to take place any time now. The deadline, which was given at 10 a.m. earlier on, has now been extended uh, indefinitely, is what we are getting to know. Uh, the police trying to make sure that maximum evacuation takes place, maximum sanitization of the area takes place before they go for the second round uh, uh, of this operation. Yesterday, things didn't quite turn out as the police might have uh, uh, planned. Uh, the police itself came under massive flak, the kind of... Uh, brutal crackdown that uh, had taken place yesterday in Hisar Satlok uh, Ashram. These are live visuals. I would like to remind our viewers, would like to just listen in to the announcements that the police is making. All right, what you just heard was one of the senior officers asking people to follow the law uh, and asking them uh, to evacuate the premises of this ashram as soon as possible. With what we do know, and the police has confirmed that uh, since uh, late last night, thousands of people have been evacuated. But having said that, what we do know is that over 5,000 people still hold up inside the ashram. Evacuations still taking place. The police this time uh, uh, erring in the side of caution. They're uh, taking maximum caution before they go in for the next final push and this is going to be the final push at this point of time the dgp has also confirmed that earlier on uh, in just about half an hour ago in that press conference where he addressed he did say that this would be the final chapter and they hope to arrest rampal who they believe is still holed up inside the satlok ashram uh, by the evening uh, right now as we speak uh, you can see uh, all right, senior police officials right now manning the ground situation there. Things look much in control, much calmer than what they did yesterday when mayhem reigned at the Satlok Ashram. Uh, right now, the police also waiting. What you see right now, a live visual, these are local villagers, mind you, local villagers who want the self-styled guru out of their area. They want this ashram raised and they want uh, Rampal to be arrested as soon as possible. They are assisting. They are assisting the police operations and even the media there. I'd like to quickly cut across uh, to Ankit Tyagi, getting us the latest ground situation. The senior officers of police have been telling us that uh, their uh, patience uh, has worked out. Now, in fact, uh, since yesterday, according to estimates, about 15,000 people have come out. And uh, this is the main gate of uh, Satlok Ashram. This yesterday was the battleground, the main operational ground where the police uh, uh, and uh, the supporters of uh, Rampal, especially uh, the ones, those who were uh, ca called the uh, Rampal's commando force, they were clashing with the police. Uh, this, this wall, in fact, was broken. You can see people still scared and right on, uh, on the gate. 
standing there uh, wanting to come out. Uh, uh, since yesterday, as according to police estimates, about 15,000 people have in fact uh, uh, come out. These buses are now being provided uh, uh, by the administration in which uh, uh, these people are being uh, taken uh, out uh, from here. Uh, the, 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 the administration fearing that uh, uh, since uh, many uh, uh, police personnel were injured and they might be agitated, have asked uh, their forces to fall back. Uh, so that uh, all those people, those who are willing to come out, and especially many of them saying that uh, uh, they have been uh, kept there, uh, inside, uh, uh, you know, uh, forcibly by uh, the for, by the by Rampal supporters, especially women and children. You can see there, uh, they are the ones, those who are uh, uh, coming. Many of them still scared that they might be beaten up, but uh, slowly, gradually, people are coming out. About. Um, 15,000 of them have in fact uh, uh, come out and uh, uh, this is where, uh, uh, this is what the police is saying is, is a major success. You can see a, a continuous uh, line of uh, uh, supporters, those who are uh, coming out, uh, but there are still many people, uh, many supporters, uh, those who uh, are actually holding up, they have dug in their heels and the operations uh, are uh, post, uh, post the, those who are voluntary want to come out, then the police will start the operation. Before I end, let me very quickly tell you that the situation is still not safe. This is the closest that uh, we have been able to come uh, to this ashram. And right now, this is the only exit. That's the only exit uh, where uh, uh, that we are trying to show you and from where the people are uh, coming, especially uh, there are these old uh, women and uh, uh, children. You can see these ladies, uh, uh, many of them also saying that uh, they were uh, held up uh, inside, uh, uh, you know, and, uh, uh, and, and that is why uh, it is taking such a long time for them to be clear up. Children uh, coming out yesterday, we met a lot of people, those who said that uh, uh, they, it was uh, they were all kept, uh, you know, uh, they were segregated from uh, from their families and they were kept in separate enclosures. Uh, we are hoping, and uh, so is the police, that uh, this would still end peacefully. Most people will come out and then the operation can be called in uh, after the police can move in to arrest Rampal. The camera person Shakir Ankitiyagi in his for headlines today. All right, lots of local reactions also coming in. The villagers have gathered outside assisting the police and the media wanting this ashram to be raised and Rampal arrested. Let's listen into those reactions. criminal conspiracy, illegal detention, rioting, attempt to murder and Rajay ke all right, things are still fairly tensed at the Satlok Ashram. To give our viewers the very latest that we are getting in at this point of time, through the course of the night, after uh, rain, uh, after mayhem rained at the Satlok Ashram yesterday, over. 10,000 people have been evacuated, only 3,500 evacuated this morning. That's the number how it stands right now. But having said that, uh, thousands still, over 5,000 supporters still inside the ashram there. Uh, on the other hand, four bodies have been recovered. They've been recovered from inside the ashram as confirmed uh, by the DGP and the senior officials there. All four bodies were recovered inside uh, the ashram, all belong to women and a child. Uh, other bodies of, a w of women and one child is what we know at this juncture. Uh, the second round of this operation will begin soon, but only after sanitation operations are complete and the police are sure that they cannot and that's the operative word that they cannot make any further evacuations of people. All right, let's uh, cut across uh, to Pankaj Upadhyay. My colleagues Pankaj and Ankit have been filing in ground reports. Let's cut across to Pankaj. Roll. This is the very road leading to the controversial Godsman Ashram. And this is the furthest point to which we are being allowed inside. The entire area from here on has been completely barricaded with security personnel. On either side of the paddy fields, you can see security guards guarding the entire area. There is very silence beyond this point. And noticeable is these vehicles, which are around 60 to 70 in number, with personnel waiting for the go-ahead orders from the superiors. Let us also have a word for the plight of the innocent women and children who are holed up inside, forcibly holed up inside the ashram with no power or water supply. Imagine the crisis 
the pain, the anguish that they must be going through. It's a big challenge for the police and the paramilitary forces. They are ready to the core out here with their helmets, with their dandas, the bodyguards here. Everything is ready. They are just waiting for the final orders. And after the court held the state government responsible for the present crisis, this has become even a bigger challenge for the paramilitary forces and the police. The hours to come could get very tense because somehow or the other, police needs to get over this controversial godman and set things right. With camera person Pradeep Gupta, this is Pankaj Upadhyay reporting for headlines today. So the situation fairly grim and tense. Uh, you can see pretty much uh, uh, at the edge right now. The operation will begin soon, but uh, the police this time, having learned smart lessons from yesterday, erring on the side of caution there and will only go in for the next surge, the next uh, attack, after they are sure that everybody who wants to leave the ashram is evacuated. All, all right, let's uh, quickly cut across uh, the DGP had uh, just a short while back addressed a live press conference where he stated uh, that uh, Rampal is still very much inside the Satlok Ashram. Let's listen in to what he had to say. We'll be back with the latest news. Ashram ke logo ne char mahilaon ki dead bodies ko prashashan ko sopa hai. In sabhi dead bodies ko hastal bhez diya gaya hai. Jahaan इन्क्वेस्ट की प्रक्रिया जो सीआरपीसी में लेट डाउन है वह और पोस्टमार्टम किया जाएगा मैं बताना चाहता हूं कि इस समय तक इनके शरीर पर किसी प्रकार की चोट का कोई भी निशान नहीं है मेरी ओवर राइडिंग प्रायोरिटी उन दस पंद्रह हजार लोगों को बचाना है जो वहां पर बंधक हैं उनमें से दस हमने बचा लिए बाकी पांच भी बचाएंगे और जब तक हम पकड़ नहीं लेंगे हम इस को समाप्त नहीं करेंगे मेरी कमिश्नर ऑफ पुलिस दिल्ली और आईजीयूटी से लगातार संपर्क जारी है आज सवेरे भी बात हुई थी इनमें से कुछ लोग दिल्ली से गुजर के अपने रास्ते पर जाएंगे लेकिन उसके बारे में पुलिस ने पूरी एहतियात बरती है और मुझे पूरी आशा है कि ये लोग वहां कहीं नहीं जाएंगे और दिल्ली पुलिस इस बारे में और हरियाणा पुलिस बारे में समन्वय के साथ कार्यवाही कर रही है